Hi everybody! I am back today with a tutorial that I've been so excited about for probably like, oh I'm gonna say like a month. Because about a month ago I picked up the Lorac Pro Palette because I heard so much about it on YouTube and I had to get it. So went to Sephora, picked it up. It also comes with a little eye primer. I should have used this like I totally even forgot about it. should have used this for the tutorial. But um, yeah, it's pretty much just like any other eye primer. It's, it's pretty good. So I'm sure you've probably seen these shadows. It's kind of popular right now, but let me just show you what they look like. You guys, these are so nice. And what I love about this palette, I like this palette better than the Naked. I know. Um, I like that you get a whole row of mattes and a whole row of shimmer and different neutral shades. Like they're all neutral, but you get some really nice colors in here. Like I love this garnet color, kind of like a cranberry type thing. And I love this matte shade called Mauve. I mean, it's a lot of people are afraid to wear like pinks and mauves and that sort of thing. This one makes it really easy because it's a really nice color. And I just love this palette. Oh my gosh. Um, the only thing, my advice to you for using this palette is number one, tap off your brush because there is quite a bit of fallout with them. The shadows are really soft and velvety and um, they're really nice, but there is some fallout. So definitely tap your brush off. Uh, number two, don't like if when you get the shadow on your brush and you go to apply it, don't swipe it, pat like pat your brush onto your eye, and that will help minimize the fallout too. And number three, use very light pressure to blend, and you will get a beautiful, amazing blend with these shadows. So I just created this look here, just a light shimmery pop on the lid, a really dark smoked out outer V and crease, and some black liner and some nice lashes nice lashes and some kind of nudish lips and I really really like the way it turned out. Hope you guys like it too. And if you want to see what shades I used to get this look and what I did then here you go. Now prior to filming I applied the e.l.f. eyelid primer all over my lid and blended that out and I also went right over that with um, some of my face powder to just provide a really even canvas for our um, blending. And I also filled in my eyebrow with my uh, Maybelline Define Brow Pencil in Dark Blonde. So the first thing I'm going to do for this look is a little bit out of sequence with what I usually do. And I'm going to start out with our crease color. I'm going to go into this shade right here. It's called Taupe. And it's a matte brown shade. This actually reminds me a whole lot of Buck from Urban Decay. And I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm just going to apply that right to the crease area. And on me, I go a little bit above my natural crease. And then with that same brush, I'm going to go into a highlight shade. And one of my favorite ones in this palette is this one here. And again, it's a matte shade and it's an off-white color. It's called Cream. And I'm going to highlight the brow bone with that. Blend it down into that taupe. And again, out of sequence, I'm going to go ahead and do my outer V color. So I'm going to take an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, and it's just a flat shader brush. And I'm going to go down to this shade, and it's one of the shimmery ones, and it's called Deep Purple. And this is so dark that it kind of looks black. And make sure you really tap off your brush, or I actually recommend doing your foundation last with this palette, but my foundation's already done. And I'm just going to very gently pat this shade on the outer corner of my lid. And I'm going to bring it up to the crease and over just slightly. Now with this bottom part, the part that's on my lid, I'm actually going to bring it in to about the halfway point of my lid. But I'm going to stop right there. So right now we have this and it just looks really harsh and unblended, but we're going to go back in with the fluffy brush and maybe just a little bit more of the taupe shadow if you feel like you need it. I'm just going to work on blending out this line right here. And something I've found with these shadows, um, they are so soft and like velvety 
but they do blend really, really easily together. However, I've noticed that in order to get like the cleanest looking blend, if you know what I'm talking about, it's really important to just barely touch your skin with your brush and blend that way. So like for this, I'm going to the point where my brush touches my skin, but that's as far as I go and I just blend there. Um, and then come in here and blend this just slightly. So what I really like to do with dark smoky eyes like this is have a dark outer V increase and then a light shimmery pop on the lid because I just feel like when you look down like you get that pop of brightness and I think it's so pretty. So I'm going to take a really small densely packed eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go into this shimmery shade here. It's called light bronze and it's a really light gold champagne color. And I'm really going to dig my brush in there and pick up quite a bit. And then just pat that on the inner part of that lid. And I'm just kind of blending that uh, shade in with that deep purple with my finger. And I'm just tapping it. And that actually blends it for you. You can go back without picking up any more of that deep purple shade. Just use the brush that you um, used with it earlier. And you can just kind of tap over that to intensify. Now if you want a little bit more of a pop on the inner corner, just take a Q-tip or a small brush or your pinky finger or anything. And I'm going to go into this shade called Nude. And this is a really super shimmery, like light pink champagne color. And I'm going to apply that around the inner tear duct. I'm going to go back into the matte taupe. I'm just going to apply that all over the lower lash line. I'm actually going to make this a pretty thick line because I'm going to darken just at the lash line and I want this taupe to kind of peek through. And now just go back into the deep purple and we're just going to smudge that right on that lash line. I'm just going to line my water line with a black pencil. And I'm going to line the upper lash line. Going all the way to the inner corner with that. These particular lashes I'm using are the same ones I used in my um, video I did on the balm. And when I went back to look, this eye was like crazy. Like these lashes stand up like really tall. And my own lashes, you can definitely see a separation there. Almost didn't upload it because I was like, that looks horrible. So I'm actually going to apply my lashes first and then I'll come back and show you what I'm going to do after. While I'm waiting on the uh, glue on my lashes to dry, I'm going to show you how I finish up my lashes in just a second. <clears throat> but while I'm waiting on that, um, I already have on my blush and bronzer and highlighter and that sort of thing. Um, I just filmed a foundation routine video. So I will link that in the description bar if you want to see how I applied it. But if you just want to know what I'm using, um, I'll put that in the description bar too so you can just read it down there. But for the lips, um, I wanted a nude lip because their eyes are so dark, but I still wanted defined lips and um, like I still want you to be able to see them. I didn't want to erase them completely. So I lined them first with this uh, liner by Rimmel and it is called Natural. And this is a really awesome lip liner. It's kind of the same shade as your lips, but it gives them definition at the same time. Then I use the one and only L'Oreal Ferris Nude lipstick all over. And then it still looked kind of matte and I wanted just a little bit of shine. So what I did and what I do in general, if I just want a little bit of shine to my lips without, but I want to like keep the color of the lipstick, I will use this lip gloss by NYX and it's called Baby Rose and it's basically, it looks like a light frosty pink but it's actually just pretty much a clear gloss and I just dabbed it in the center of my top and bottom lip and then went like that and it kind of blends it out and gives it like a shine. So, okay, for my lashes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Maybelline Lash Discovery and I'm first going to apply that to my bottom lashes. And I'm really going to try to work on bringing out every single one of them. I'm going to use my lash curler and just give them a really quick little pinch here. There we go. Now I'm just going to apply this to my own 
natural lashes, curling them, and then applying this just kind of binds your lashes together there with the false ones. All right, guys, so that is the finished look. I'm really sorry about this lighting. It's like, whew, kind of crazy. But yeah, I really love this look. And you guys, if you get a chance to get this palette, I say go for it. It's really awesome. It's very versatile, but here is the look close up. This will be perfect for any kind of night out or I think even like the upcoming holidays, this would be really pretty for that. And, or just to go have your picture taken for a new passport. Where did that come from? Oh, that's what I'm getting ready to do. So <laughs> I really hope you guys are doing great and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.